Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you on this video. This time around, I am gonna check out the first VST instrument ever invented. This one, it's called Neon and it was invented by the company Steinberg in 1996. We go back in time more than 20 years for this first VST instrument in the market. In this video, I want to show you how it sounds, some of the features also, I wanted to show you how I used this instrument and sounds in a full mix, show you some of the capabilities and also be able to know if it aged well more than 20 years later. As usual, I leave you all of the applicable links related to the content of this video. Also, I leave you some timestamps in case that you want to move around between the mini segments of the video. Before we begin, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some cool freebies for you. You can get some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players, such as the guide on how to make more music in 30 to 60 minutes a day. Also, the eight step mixing checklist using only free plugins and the number one rule and law of home recording studios. Also, Additionally, I have some tools such as a huge collection of guitar impulses, a drum sample pack for rock and metal sound, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now let's get straight to the video. Let's take a look at some of the functions and features of this polyphonic synthesizer. First, we have here the range, meaning the octaves here in the eight it's in the octave that it's supposed to be then if you put the 16 here you are going to be decreasing the sound one octave and in the four you're going to be increasing one octave of the original sound you have three waveforms here first triangle saw and square waveform you have here the low frequency oscillator speed and the oscillator to detune. Here you have the section of the voltage controlled filter and the voltage controlled amplifier here. You have the ADSR for the two, which means attack, decay, sustain, and release, and also attack, decay, sustain, and release, and the other one. And you have a resonant filter. You have the resonance frequency here and the cutoff frequency right here very simple you have some presets to choose from here i'm gonna go through them very quickly with this chord progression that i have here First, I am going to show you the mix, which I am sure you have heard in some guitar demos, guitar amplifiers, 
stuff like that then i am gonna show you how i used this synthesizer to create some layers of course i am not a sound design expert i am more focused in guitar stuff mostly bass and drums for instance i am not an expert in synthesizers but i did my best to create something in this mix first i am gonna show you the mix without the synthesizer this is how it sounds So the first thing that I did here was to create one synth sound using the same chord progression as the guitar and the bass in this mix. For the first synthesizer sound, I used this telephone frequencies preset. This is how the chord progression sounds like. Then I added another layer of a more bassy sound. I used for that second layer this slow forts preset and I combined both of the sounds with volume, nothing more. This is the second sound that I have here. And the two sounds combined sound like this. I just used volume to blend both of these sounds with the backing track and with the guitars and all that. The main tool is volume, right? You need to know how much of the signals are going to be audible. And then I did some other things that I'm going to show you to blend this sound with the metal mix that I have here. Additionally, I created a third synth layer here. For the third layer, I used the again the telephone frequencies, but I added a, a ton of reverb this is a one knob plugin this is what it sounds like i'm gonna remove the effect so that you can hear all of the three sounds combined sound like this All of these three synth layers were sent to this synth bus and I have here a little bit of reverb as well with this same plugin to blend all of the three sounds together. The reverb what did here was to put the sound a little bit more open in the stereo spectrum. The sound was more focused in the center without this reverb and it was conflicting a little bit with the bass guitar. And also with equalization, I used this free plugin to remove a little bit of the low end from 70 hertz and below. I cut here about 6 decibels at around 118 hertz. It was a little boxy. And I added a little bit of presence here in the 1100 hertz area, making the sound a little thinner, but it works better in the context of the mix. Also, another thing that I recommend you is to also check your levels with just one instrument and the synth and also with the drum and bass with the synth and also collapse the mix to mono so that you can hear everything so this is how the guitars and the synth are working together here
Also, when you are in doubt regarding the volume of any element in the mix, just use the mute button. If you feel, if you hear that something went away, it means that you are doing the right thing when it comes to volume. If you feel that when you mute the element, you didn't feel the mix different, it means that it was probably too low in the mix. That's one uh, tool that I use all the time as well. Now let's listen to the full mix of this. Please let me know down below in the comment section what do you think about this VST plugin by Steinberg, the first one ever made back in 1996. Let me know what you think of the sounds, I will be very happy to know. And also let me know your thoughts and philosophies when using synthesizers in a rock and metal mix. What are your philosophies and your approaches? I will be very interested to know. Before we go, I would like to invite you one last time to my website amnorhanto.com where you can get some additional freebies some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also some free tools such as a huge collection of guitar impulses a drum sample pack for rock and metal sound among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out the blog and this channel which i'm updating weekly with tons of free content thank you so much for watching this video thanks for your time i appreciate it very much i will see you very soon all right take care